Hello everyone, Alchemy Kick 22 here, and welcome to My Time at Portia. This will be the first episode in a brand new Let's Play. So I hope you all enjoy. We'll start with creating a brand new character. And I thought I'd do a little something different this time. This time, I'm going to make a male character. Just for fun. As you can see, it has some beautiful hand-painted and hand-drawn backgrounds for the load screens, which is absolutely gorgeous. Believe me, once you start playing this game, you won't be able to put it down. <laughs> now, on my solo Let's Play, I've gotten quite far. But this will be the first time ever that I have made a male character for a video I've done, aside from my Stardew Valley mod review. And in honor of that, we are going to name him Anthony. There we go. Let's see, what voice should we choose for him? I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might think of something. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might think of something. This house is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. I like the third one. We'll go with that. Now let's see. What can we make you look like, Anthony? Do do do. Hmm. That's not bad, except you really need an eyebrow wax or something. Let's see what we can do about that. <sighs> Brow thickness, there we go. Okay, no problem there. Hmm. Now, what would be the closest to his hair color from my Stardew video? For those interested in my Stardew Valley mod video, I'll link it down in the description below so you can get an idea of what the original character looked like. Hmm, not bad. Let's see, do they have a ponytail for you? No, that kind of looks like Renji from Bleach, which is awesome, but not quite what I was thinking. Let's see. That's the one from before. Hmm. There's the ponytail. Okay, now we're in business. Just shorten that up a bit. So we can see that pretty face. Turn your hair back to blue. Do do do. Let's see. Hmm. Now, once we get out of the character creation screen, I won't be talking much because there are some voices that go along with the characters. So that will save me a lot of talking time. What else should we do? I think we have a winner there. Let's see. Hmm. Nope. That's better. I like that one. Um... To do now. Hmm. 
eye color. Let's go for a lovely dark blue. I think that's the closest we're gonna manage, so that will have to do. Looking pretty good there, Anthony. I like it. Now that we got your eye color closer to what I originally have for you in my starter video, let's get started, shall we? Let's see, what birthday should we choose for you? For those who are curious, I am playing with an Xbox One controller because I have difficulty with the keyboards for most games. Let's see. No. Hmm. Let's give you an autumn birthday. That ought to be interesting. Hmm, the day before a holiday? No. Let's go with... The 17th of Autumn. And here we go. Let's jump on into this and see how it goes. Again, we have another beautiful loading screen. I'm playing this through a headset, so I apologize if the music quality does not get through to you fine folks. I hope it does, because the music is just beautiful. Hopefully none of it's copyrighted. I'm not entirely sure how to check on that. So, my deepest apologies if it is. But I truly hope you all enjoy this Let's Play. Here we go! We're on a lovely little boat. We're coming up on Porsche! Whoa! That looks beautiful! Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while, always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Well, good luck to you. 
Thanks. All right. And also, apologies if the video quality seems a little slow. I have a bit of an outdated graphics card, but not much I can do that about that at the moment, so we'll just have to endure that. Let's see what Presley wants. Presley, how do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Portia so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Now, not all of the dialogue is going to be voiced, so I'm going to try and leave up the dialogue boxes for a few extra minutes to make sure you guys can read them all. So let's be honest, I'm not the best voice actress. I might not be able to keep up with it. As you can see, we got the tool tips on the side here. And here we are. Your workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homely. Oh, that's very generous of you, Anthony. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. I can at least read the letter out for you guys, so let's see what our pa has to say. Anthony, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to the rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always Here's the workshop handbook of your paws. Take your time. Come to the Porter Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently, I'm not supposed to finish reading the letter, but for those who want to go back and read it, you're welcome to try. 
I remember correctly from my solo playthrough of this game, it was basically at the end of the letter, a goodbye. So, I don't think our paw is coming back. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Oh boy, this should be fun. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Here we are, our very first day. Let's see what we got oh, in store. My head hurts. Oh, I didn't sleep well at all from the breeze coming through those cracks last night. Is it just me or does Anthony sound like he got a cold? That doesn't sound good. Especially not for our first day. We have our very first mission. Down at the bottom of the bar there, we've got our health points. We're at level one for our combat, if I remember correctly. And our SP, which for those who aren't familiar with farming games like this one, and Stardew Valley, that's how much energy you have throughout the day. And it's important to keep an eye on that. Oh lord, Pa, you couldn't have kept the house in slightly better condition? Oh well. How much are we going to need to fix this, I wonder? Well, let's see what we can do about the house after we go see Presley. And we have mail. For those who are planning to play this, check your mail regularly. When you have a brand new message in your mailbox, you'll see the icon in front of me now. I'll leave it up on screen for a few minutes so y'all can read it. Or you can pause the video if you'd prefer to do that. There's somebody to talk to. Yeah. Who are you? Are you a spy for the Duvos Empire? Huh? You're just the new builder. Hmm. Suspicious. For those who don't know, my time at Porsche takes place in a post apocalyptic time. So basically, from what I understand, there was this huge battle between several different nations or something along those lines, and you're living in the aftermath of that. About 300 or so years later, is this the right 
play? Yes. to see you. How are you settling in? Good, good. Aside from the lack of sleep we got last night, pretty good. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own, or buy them from the Total Tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws on one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. It's important to talk to as many townsfolk as possible every single day because that will build your relationship points with them and given certain townsfolk you may get some perks along the way don't forget to finish the guild's test and get yourself your builder's license i have faith in you that's very sweet presley thank you His name is Anthony too. Neat. Hi there. I know who you are. I'm Antoine. We'll probably Antoine. be seeing each other a lot. <laughs> oh, you are just so fabulous. I adore you already. <laughs> Let's see. What else have you got to say? Nothing else? Okay. Let me just give you guys a quick tour of the menus. This is our inventory with our experience level, our stamina, our endurance, which is how fast we can run. And in the red there, we have our health, which in this case, red is a good thing because there's lots of it. And down there at the bottom, we have a hundred gold to work with. Or galls. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. And here we have our mission. The Builder Test is the only one we have so far. If you're ever wondering what missions you have, or what quests you have from the townsfolk, this is where you want to go to make sure you keep track of them. But be careful how many requests you take, because if there are some you fail, that doesn't do well for your workshop. And so far, these are all the people we know. This is the map of the inside of the building. This is our calendar to keep track of weekly events, which will definitely come in handy later, trust me.
there we have our photo album, which, to be honest, I never really use, but it's good to have. Now, back to the mission. Higgins, blah. You must be the competition. Whatever. The more the merrier. Bring it on. Oh. What a wonderful person you are, Higgins. I wonder if you understand the meaning of sarcasm. Probably not. You want to get yourself familiar with the town as much as possible. Because you're going to be coming here a lot. There we go. There's some stone at least. It's important to gather as many herbs as possible as well. They'll come in handy later. So gather as many as you can when you see them. Oh, here's the workbench. Okay. Oh darn, we were so close. We just needed one more stone. So we need five and eight. We need... Seven and five, so why don't we gather a little bit more before we try and craft them? It's always good to have a little extra materials. And there I see some right there. more here somewhere. Oh, nope. No, we are not dealing with those right now. Here's some more herbs. I can look around and see any more wood. Ah, there's some. Okay.
We need more stone though. So where are we gonna find that? I'd rather not buy any materials if I don't have to. Ooh, goody! A chest. Let's see what's inside it. Now that little circle you see right here is our endurance meter if we're running. Another tip I'll give is gather as much wood as possible. You're going to need it repeatedly. As we go further along in this let's play, you'll see what I mean. But I'm gonna make this video a nice long one so you guys get an idea of this wonderful game. I absolutely love it. I can hardly put it down. For those of you who are playing this already, but don't know where the query is, this is the query right here. Or quarry, if you prefer. I'll it all depends on your pronunciation. Now, if they're all sparkly like those stones were just now, it means you won't need a tool to gather them. Which is very good at the moment, considering we don't have any tools made yet. All the stone we can gather right now. Anthony, we don't have all day. There's some more stone. I thought I was missing some. Isn't this place just beautiful? I absolutely love it. We're in spring right now, so all the trees are beautiful and green. But as you go through the various seasons, the surroundings will change. I think we should have plenty now. So let's see if we can get this builder's test finished. A 
quick run through of a few things you can make with the workbench. As you can see, the work table is at level one, which comes out to be very important later, so pay attention to that. But if you ever get confused, don't worry. That's what this Let's Play is for. I'm happy to walk you guys through it. And this last tab here where you see the yellow exclamation point is what you have to create for missions. That will come on in handy also if you're ever confused about what you need to make for a request, or in this case of a game, a commission. We just need one of each, so that's all we're gonna make, is one of each. Now there's a certain way I like to have my quick bar set up, but that really depends on you, the player. Set it up however you like. And there you see in the hot bar now we have the axe and the pickaxe. If you ever want to change things around in your quick bar or your inventory, I will show you how to do that right now. I use a combination of both the Xbox One controller and my mouse, as you can see here. So it's real simple. You just move them. To whatever spot you want. I definitely recommend you keeping your herbs with you at all times in your inventory. You never know when you might need them. So I'm gonna put those up there. And I'm not sure if there's really a limit on them. I don't remember. But look there at our experience bar. It's almost full, so we'll be at level two soon. Let's try and gather some more wood after we go see. Presley. I keep wanting to call him Percy. I have no idea why. Presley. Oh, more stone. Yay. Stone is another resource. You're going to need a lot. So be prepared to be collecting a lot of it. There's nobody here. Oh, yay. Let's see what this says. K 
Okay, firstly, what do you have to say to me now? Ah! Excellent quality! Nicely done! You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm, if I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Well, if that's what Presley says, let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's go over to our handbook here. Everything our pa knows or ever made is in this book. So let's see what we have. Ah, page one, stone furnace. You're going to be referring this you're going to be referring to this a lot when you play this game, so you best get used to it. It's worth it though. The crafting is really simple. The hard part as you go along may be to gather the materials themselves, but before you know it you'll be an old pro. If you're anything like me, you won't be able to put it down. Trust me. Let's see what we need here. We need a stone stool for this and 10 wood. So I need 10 stone and 10 wood. Okie dokie. Let's go see what we can find. I need to gather some more wood, but that shouldn't be too hard. Now that I have an axe, I won't have to go around collecting twigs anymore. Time to go home. do nicely. It's going to take it a minute to gather up all the stuff. Got seven wood. So now we should have just enough. our assembly station. Yay! Let's see. We want to make the stone furnace. Yes. Just one more time to make sure those of you who are reading this know how this works. I'll leave it up for a few extra minutes. Okay, now that we know how it works, let's see what we can do. We make our stone stools over here, if I remember correctly. Let's 
As you can see there, it's got a picture of the assembly station on that very last picture. Again, so you can keep track of what you're making on the assembly station. Let's go ahead and make our stool now. Okay, good. That part's done. We collect some more wood. I thought we had enough, but not quite. Oh, look at that! We already gained a level. Yay! A quick note. You will pass out at 3 a.m. So be aware of that. I don't think it has quite the repercussions it does on Stardew Valley, where you only have half energy when you wake up. It's still something you need to be made aware of, though. I'm just gonna gather one more wood to be safe. Then we can work on the wood for the house, as soon as the furnace is done. Another quick tip I discovered while playing this. Your machines that you use, that being the assembly station, the workbench, and currently about to be the stone furnace, does not take any of your stamina. For some other tips and tricks, I highly recommend you watch either Game Shark HD for his beginner video to this or the ever hilarious Dangerously Funny for his tips and tricks video for brand new players. I hope you guys are enjoying this journey with me so far. There, now we can see that lovely face. Uh, let's do one more and then we'll make the stone furnace. Here we go. Oops. I also recommend collecting the plant fiber as much as possible because it will come in handy later. Don't want to get too far from home. Alright, there we are. Let's do this whole assembly station business. An important tip to remember, while I think about it, when you're putting something together on the assembly station, the materials you're using must be in your quick bar. Or for some of you, it may be called a hot bar, depending on your choice of phrasing. Part one, and part two will be the 
wood. We have our very first furnace. Yay. Ooh, we gotta keep a close eye on our stamina. That's not so good. We're only at 34. So where are we going to put this thing? I guess right here next to our workstation. Or work table ought to do it. For now. Before I run out of daylight, I'm just gonna collect a tiny bit more wood because I want to finish the house inside today. And that's what I'm going to do. Whoops. Come on, Anthony. There we go. at least 40 before we hit the bed. Do, do, do. Now there will be eventually a point where we can upgrade our equipment. But we're not there yet. Our pa left us with quite a mess. I'm sure we can make something amazing out of it. I think the Commerce Guild is closed already. I'm not all that familiar with the 24 hour time clock, but I pretty much guess that they're closed now. So we'll have to visit Presley in the morning. In the meantime, let's fix up the house, shall we? Hopefully we have enough. Because with as little stamina as we have, I don't want to have to go back out there. There's one more. Yes. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Hmm. 
Just in time too. Now the game only saves once you've gone to sleep. So that is the one downside to this game. You can't save whenever you'd like to. But in a way it does autosave, so that helps. I think I'm gonna end it there, folks. So, thank you for joining me on the beginning journey of young Anthony here. As he tries to put back together his father's workshop and make a decent living during his time in Porsche. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Bye now!